Hey guys, welcome back today. Today, we're going to go over how we bathe our ferrets. Specifically, since we full-time RV, how do we bathe our ferrets in our RV? Now, lucky for us, our RV did come with a shower slash bathtub. Some will only have a standing shower. So if you don't have an actual bathtub, my recommendation would be to just get like a big storage bin that you could put in the bottom of your stand-up shower. And you can do this exactly the same and follow all the steps, but just use the storage bin instead of the walls of a bathtub. So something I wanted to point out is you really shouldn't have to give them baths very often. At the most, we might give our guys a bath maybe four times a year, and it's probably less than that. One of the reasons you might want to give your ferrets a bath is if they get into something they're not supposed to. So if they just roll around in some like dirt outside, sometimes they do like to dig, I'll just rinse them in the water. So you can just fill up the bathtub and just get them kind of wet and just get some of the dirt off. Other than that, I wouldn't normally use anything else. Now for a bath bath, usually we do what's called an oatmeal bath. We don't use any kind of soap, so no ferret soaps, no dog or cat soaps, definitely not. We don't use baby soaps, we don't use Dawn, we just use oatmeal. And I'm going to show you how we do that. And the reason we do this is they can be kind of sensitive in their skin. Some people have had success using those soaps, I just don't want to risk it, so we just do the oatmeal. Now, a reason you wouldn't want to bathe your ferret is to get rid of their smell. Ferrets? Ferrets, they have a smell. Just like I think dogs have some kind of a smell, my birds have a certain kind of smell that's specific to them, these guys will always have some kind of a smell. A lot of people think that, oh, well, I don't really like the smell, so I'm just going to keep giving them baths, that way the smell will go away. When in fact, you are actually making the smell worse. So ferrets produce oils, that oil is what's causing their smell. So the more often you bathe them, their body's gonna be like, oh no, we're missing oils. And it's gonna work that much harder to reproduce those oils. So the more often you do that, the more they're gonna like panic and try to reproduce those oils. And that's what causes even smellier ferrets. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly what we're going to use to give these guys a bath. So I'm gonna go let him on the ground so he can go play. All right, so besides your ferrets, this is basically all you need. I have a clean sock, so definitely no stinky socks, but I have a clean sock we're going to use. I have our regular oats here, so this is not like, you don't want like your instant oatmeal stuff. We're going to use that, which I've already poured some in here. I used this to pour, I didn't actually measure it, but I did use that to get it out of the bin and in there, and then you're going to want some towels. Alright, first step is we need that inside the sock. So I'm going to open said sock and we're going to pour this right in the sock here. And we're just going to shake this until it's all in the bottom. Now once that is like so, you can either take a rubber band or something and tie it shut if your sock is shorter. But my sock's pretty long so we're just going to tie it in a knot. And we're going to use that in place of using soap in their bath. All right, so here is our RV shower slash bathtub. As you can see, it's already wet. I already rinsed it out just to make sure there's no soap residue from our shampoos or anything like that in there. So we are going to put a towel in there. So it's just one of our towels. And then we're going to fill it with some water. And voila, we have bath water. So I only filled it maybe three inches-ish. My intention is not to soak them or have it over their heads, so this will do. All right, so now I'm gonna take the sock that I now have filled with the oats and put it in the water. All right, so now that it's in there, once you start getting it wet, you're gonna see where this is at. It's getting cloudy. So I do want that a little bit everywhere because we're gonna use this and we're not gonna use any soap on the ferrets. All right, now that that's ready, we're gonna go get the boys. So three boys into the bathtub. Yay! So some ferrets are gonna take the baths better than others. It really just depends on the ferrets. Some of them like to swim, some of them don't. So one of the reasons I put the towel in here is it gives them somewhere with traction. The bottom is very, very slippery and that way they're not actually having to swim. So we're just gonna take some of the oatmeal water 
and use it to kind of scoop it onto them. Three ferrets in a bath is a handful. I would highly suggest doing one at a time. <laughs> Such good boys. Now you want to make sure you're paying attention. Sometimes they will go to the bathroom in the bath, but if they do go to the bathroom, not the end of the world. Just empty the tub, rinse it out. Oh, does that feel good? Rinse it out and just start over with some clean water. Oh, that's so good. Does that feel the best? There you go. You guys are so good. So good. All right, so we're gonna empty the bath and I'm gonna fill it up with just some regular water without oatmeal and just get them rinsed off a little bit, all right? All right, so now that there's just regular water in here, we're just gonna get them rinsed off a little bit, and then we're gonna empty the water. Oop, don't, don't drown your brother. And we're gonna empty the water again. All right, so water's empty. So now we're gonna give them a dry towel. And get them all dried up. Do you guys need another towel? <laughs> I would not use a blow dryer to blow dry them. Ferrets are prone to overheating, so you just want to be careful that they're not super hot. So this will usually do the trick. And if you just let them run around your house, they'll do the exact same thing. All over the carpet, all over the bed, all over the couch, wherever you let them get. They will do this exact same thing. Now, if you are giving your ferrets a bath, I would never leave them unsupervised in the water, even though it was only three inches of water. So obviously the chances of drowning are gonna be slim because they can reach the bottom. They can reach the towel that was in the bottom. You don't want something accidentally to happen. So for instance, there was a quick second where Winky almost was on his brother's head here, Mr. Creature Feature. And you just wanna make sure you keep him supervised. That way nothing bad happens. Look at you, you guys are almost all dry. Are you done? Are you done drying? Look at you, you're like completely dry. You did the bestest job. Good job. All right, so Mr. Hagrid and all of them are done with their baths. They are basically pretty well dry now. So I've been letting them running around the RV and they basically used everything they could find to finish drying off. Now you can just see nothing but fluff. Look at all that fluff. So there you have it. That's all about giving our ferrets their baths in the RV. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you wanna be notified when we put out more videos, definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit that little bell so you get notified. But yeah, we definitely appreciate you watching, don't we? You tell them how much, you're, how much they're appreciated you tell them how much they're appreciated? Oh, extreme ferret close-up. <laughs> See you in the next video.